Now, existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. Try to breathe, you know, real hard, and you find you get balled up in your breathing. So you go to be human. You just have to trust yourself to have bowel movements and go to sleep and digest your food. You've got to let go and let it happen. Because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only if you don't try. But we have a strange anxiety in us that if we don't interfere, it won't happen. And that's the root of an enormous amount of trouble. Now, it's my contention, my personal opinion, this is my basic metaphysical axiom, shall we put it that way, that existence is basically playful. There is no necessity for it whatsoever. It isn't going anywhere. In music, though, one doesn't make the end of a composition the point of the, composi of the composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who played fastest. <laughs> and there would be composers who wrote only finales. <laughs> People go to concert just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. <laughs> We've got a system of schooling which gives a completely different impression. It's all graded. And what we do is we put the child into the corridor of this grade system with a kind of, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. And yeah, you go to kindergarten, you know. And that's a great thing because when you finish that, you'll get into first grade. And then come on, first grade leads to second grade and so on. And then you get out of grade school, you go to high school, and it's revving up, the thing is coming. Then you're going to go to college, and by Joe, then you get into graduate school. And when you're through with graduate school, you go out to join the world. And then you get into some racket where you're selling insurance. And they've got that quota to make. And you're going to make that. And all the time, the thing is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That great thing, the, the success you're working for. Then when you wake up one day about 40 years old, you say, my God, I've arrived. <laughs> I'm there. And you don't feel very different from what you always felt. And there's a slight letdown because you feel there's a hoax. And there was a hoax, a dreadful hoax. They made you miss everything. <laughs> because we simply cheated ourselves the whole way down the line. We thought of life by analogy with a journey, with a pilgrimage, which had a serious purpose at the end. And the thing was to get to that end, success or whatever it is, or maybe heaven after you're dead. But we missed the point the whole way along. It was a musical thing, and you were supposed to sing or to dance while the music was being played.